Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your reading. Um, so when I was shuffling out this spread for you guys, um, I saw um, an image. It's kind of like a silhouette. It's a night sky and there's a house surrounded by trees and the moon is in the background. So the, the house shows up as a silhouette and then everything in that house is dark. And then all of a sudden the attic light comes on and it just um, this 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 overpowering you know light emanating from the attic it's a it's a very haunting type of a, a, a feeling that I'm getting but I'm also seeing as well that it's it's a light that illuminates the darkness okay so that's what I saw and um, what I feel how that image applies to this reading is uh, there's definitely some type of a major realization, major awakening, that light bulb moment that has uh, entered your, your life or will be entering uh, the rest of this month. For some of you, this is like an idea when it comes to income generating opportunities, okay? Something that's really profound, something that's very, very big. And I feel like it's an idea that you can take uh, and run with it. And it's going to be very transformative when it comes to your financial sector, okay? So it's an idea, it's, it's lucrative, it's flo floating around out there. And I feel like it's coming into the fold to show you, here's how it can be done. You know, so if you've been thinking about something, I feel like this is a really good time for you to launch something. It's a good time for you to grab this opportunity and run with it. And then uh, I'm also seeing in the financial sector, for some of you guys, you're at this point king of pentacles very financially stable and you're trying to figure out you know what's next like um you might be at the top of that career ladder and you're just like well i don't really have anywhere else to climb so what's the next stage for me what's the next step how am i going to you know what do i need to transition into or where should i look so that I can in, in continue to increase my skills, continue to increase my income generating potential, which is a really, really good place for you to be. Be very careful about speculative uh, ventures, okay? This is like high risk, high rewards. Be very, very, very careful about that. So yes, there is an idea floating around out there for you to generate income, but if it's like gambling, if it's something that in, involves a lot of risk, I would urge you to be careful mainly because we're coming down here from the king of pentacles to the five of pentacles which is uh, financial loss so look at situations very realistically and make sure that this i uh, this this project this idea this whatever it is that's coming into the the picture that it passes you know the common sense test and especially if it's really high risk i would advise you to sit still and mull it over okay um, I'm also feeling as well some of you are really uh, trying to stabilize your financial future and this is a, a different segment of you guys and you feel like you're just starting out you feel like okay I'm, I'm kind of like you know this this newborn I have a long way to go before I can get myself financially where I need to be and it can feel a little bit disheartening when you have so much potential and you you see yourself you know like um, with a lot of potential with a lot of growth potential especially um, but it can seem as if it's gonna take some time to to learn all the skills to climb that ladder to to be where you need to be I don't see any obstacles standing in your way. I feel like there's a lot of information that you have to learn. There are a lot of things that you have to know how to do in, in terms of like uh, protocols, procedures, uh, accumulating knowledge in order to do your job, in order to, I, I see a lot of people who might actually be students. So for example, if you're on course to, to get your bachelor's, you know, um, you might be like, okay, once I get this degree, once I get, uh, once I graduate, uh, the, whole, the, the whole world of opportunities will be available for me. So you're getting kind of antsy and you're getting kind of anxious. Like, I just want to get through school. School is just school. Um, 
and afterwards that's when my life is going to start okay some of you could even be getting a master's could be like getting frustrated and impatient about um you know even doing like a phd coursework and you're just like as long as i graduate then everything the, the doors will all be open for me so think of this not as a means to an end okay getting the degree is is a is just a means to get a job Think of this as your soul's evolution, okay? All the things that you need to learn as this newborn baby in order to, I, and I feel like it, it's just, it's not just the degree or the diploma to get a good job. It's something that you have to do for your internal growth process. So be patient with it and just know that in life, whatever we put in is what we're gonna get out. So if we need to give it 100%, do all the course reading, do all the assignments, do all the tests, the midterms, the exams, the board exams even. It's knowledge is, you know, the accumulation of knowledge is an ongoing cumulative process. So we can't really cut corners and we can't really uh, just, just, you know, wish for that end date. Okay, so enjoy the process, live in that moment, ground yourself and really find purpose in the day to day of what you're doing so that you're not getting frustrated, so that you're not getting anxious and impatient with this process. So I feel like there's uh, something that's going to take a while to, to accomplish. It could be a project, it could be school for some of you, it could be, you know, getting the foundations ready for some huge income generating opportunity and you're, you're, you're in the midst of having to deal with it. I feel like you're a little bit impatient, but rest assured, things are going to be okay. It's, I feel almost like the universe is teaching you um, delay gratification, it's teaching you discipline, a lot of discipline, it's teaching you to accumulate knowledge and it's keeping you kind of still so that you can clearly lay a strong foundation for you guys so that whatever you decide to undertake later on when this waiting period is over then you will know that it's going to have a really good outcome okay so be patient with it um there is some brazen, bold communication that's coming through between you and another person, okay? And um, this is what I call like the bare naked truth, okay? Page of Swords, okay? Um, somebody might be ex um, expressing how they feel to you and um, they could be expressing how they feel about something that you're doing. They could be expressing how they feel about you. And I feel like the, the message, the way it's delivered, it could be in a way uh, very, it's like catching you off guard. It's something very unexpected. And it's something that is like, wow, what do I do with this information? And then for others, I feel like you have somebody that is expressing their romantic feelings for you and it's um you know it's not like the page of cups where it's very sweet and flirtatious and and jolly and you know uh, i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is normally not very emotionally expressive they might have a deadpan face they might have like um they're they're, they're just not really comfortable with that realm of emotions okay and you have two characters here. One could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The other one could be uh, an air sign. So I have the King of Pentacles, and then I have the, this is the, the King of Swords. Okay, both of these people, not overly emotional, but I feel like the, the, the communication that's coming through between the two of you is, um, I feel almost like the, they're, if they're expressing their emotions towards you, it's very, it caught you off guard. It's something very unexpected, okay? And then I also feel like uh, there's news about pregnancies, birth, and, and things like that as well, where it's, it's like um, catching you unawares, okay? So for those of you who are, you know, expecting, congratulations. For those of you who are, um, not expecting you know um 
take necessary precautions because this pregnancy vibe is coming through mainly because we have some unexpected communication we have the the birth of something okay um i feel like for some of you there is um i i feel like there could be some type of a uh, accusation from a relationship partner okay uh, are you seeing somebody else? Are you still in love with me? Uh, uh, am I making you happy? Um, are you, you know, like, like they're, they're wondering if you're still attracted to them. They're wondering if you're still in love with them. They're wondering if they do it for you. And they're wondering if you've been honest and straightforward and, and you know, uh, loyal to them. So I, I do feel issues, communications regarding loyalty. And I also feel like as well, you know, loyalty in the workplace. You know, like um, I see somebody getting pull, um, called into like a supervisor or a manager's office and somebody telling you, hey, uh, we've got, you know, a position that's going to be opening up in possibly uh, the end of the year and we like the work that you're doing but we're wondering you know are, are you do you enjoy working here do you think you'll be around uh, at that time do you think you'll be loyal to us because we want to recommend you for this position but if you don't feel like you want to be here then you know let us know so that we can give the position to somebody else i don't feel like the communication is um it is um is sneaky or conniving or i don't feel like they have hidden agendas or hidden motives i feel like they hold you in high regards and they want to give you the the full honest truth they want to be able to disclose to you fully where they're at how they feel about you and uh, what their plans are so if if your plans um kind of coincide with theirs that's great if your plans on the other hand do not coincide they want to know so that they can you know look elsewhere so it, it seems to me like it could be at work or it could be with a relationship partner are you still 100 percent on board with me cancers if you are then great we'll move forward you know forward movement momentum here um, but there's also that little bit of self-doubt you know one horse is looking at the other and it's like are we in this together because it's gonna get rough so are we still in this together if you want to bail out you need to tell me now and um, honestly cancers um, I feel in general that it's hard for people to um, gauge where they're at with you you guys are really personable you have great sparkly shiny personalities and um, you guys are very very well liked you know people that meet you even for the very first time they're always gonna say wow that was a really cool person you know uh, male or female you have this way about you where it's very disarming uh, you put people at ease you sincerely care about people and you always you know whenever people talk to you they feel like uh, they, they feel like they're the center of your world and I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this I've interacted with a lot of cancers and um, so let's just say I, I talk to them and they're just like how was your day and you know um, I feel like I can say anything without judgment I, I feel like you know the other person when they ask me that they're really 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 sincerely interested in you know how was your day it, it's not just casual conversation because people do that um, and they ask you and then they're disinterested as soon as you open your mouth but I feel like with with you guys there is a very strong sense of sincerity when you interact with people when you talk to people when you ask people you know uh, even with just mundane water cooler chit chat um, you're still very much engaged and very interested in what they have to say and I feel like you do this with a lot of people and that is why I, I mentioned before uh, a lot of people can get the wrong ideas and think that you're flirting with them and then a lot of people you know your partner um, when they're with you they feel like they're the center of your world because of course you love them but when you're engaging or talking to somebody else they just feel very sidelined okay so make sure that you're 
make sure that you 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 kind of keep that t attention, that focus on the relationship partner. Reassure your relationship partner so that they don't um, they don't feel insecure or they don't um, feel like they're put on the back burner or they don't feel sidelined uh, in conversations. Okay, be inclusive to the point where it's group inclusion, you know? Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, I, I feel like there's some insecurities coming through, especially from relationship partners. Um, what I have as well is, um, I also feel like some of you are in a position where you're being offered, like you're in one job and you're being offered another job, okay? You're in one relationship and you're being solicited for another relationship. And um, I feel like there's a, a little bit of a sensory overload from your end about like, oh, what do I do? So many choices, so many options. Um, there's also this um, uh, paralysis. It's like, I can't really act on anything right now. I don't know what to do. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't uh, want to convey the wrong things. I don't want to make a decision because I, I need some time to mull it over. So there's an element here about you being quite conflicted and kind of pulled in, in different directions about, you know, what's the right choice for me. So if you are being uh, poached, for example, if you're in one company, working for somebody that you really care for and you admire and you feel like there's growth potential here and you're being um you know pulled by another company recruited by another company or offered another job i feel like i i feel well let me see i feel like it's catching you unawares and i feel like the new job yeah, I feel like the new job, they really want you, okay? I call this bending over backwards to accommodate another person. They really, really, really want you. They really want you. And, um, you know, the best work environment is the work environment that really sees your full potential, that really appreciates you, and that really wants you. Okay, so um, I, I feel like you have some choices to make. And then I also feel like if you're in one relationship, there might be um, somebody telling you like, hey, I really like you when uh, if you ever find yourself single, then, you know, uh, reach out to me. And in that situation, I see you kind of recoiling like, I, I don't know what to do with that information. And I feel like you can trust people and, and take what they say at face value, okay? This is options opening up. You can take what they say at face value. If they're telling you, when you're, if you ever find yourself single, then contact me. They don't expect a response from you. I mean, unless you're single, right? But if you're in a relationship already and you're happy, then just leave that alone, okay? Don't work yourself into a frenzy, okay? So I definitely see some temptation uh, would work with relationships as well coming through. Testing your loyalties, I feel. Testing your loyalty. So, you know, stand firm in whatever it is that you hold dear, whatever it is that you love, whatever it is that you value. Don't waver. Don't um, think about what if. Because, you know, a lot of the times when new opportunities open up, uh, we forget or we take for granted what we already have. So this is telling you if it's a job or something I feel like they they really like you they really like you but if you're happy where you're at then you know work from that standpoint make the decision from that standpoint okay don't think of it as missed opportunities or if I don't uh, do this I'll never get that opportunity again they want you so they they will continue to wait okay so um, let's brush that aside so that's the first six cards here the last four cards, first of all, what I'm feeling here is um, I, I do see um, relationships and where one person is doing a lot of the shouldering of the responsibilities, okay? Housework, child rearing, um, being the, the, the only person to bring home the money 
and um, you might be in a situation where you feel almost as if there there's some uh, imbalance regarding you know who's doing what in the relationship okay who is putting 100% in the relationship and then who's not who's not doing their fair share um, I also feel like there might have been some types of talks, communication, compromise about, you know, okay, I drop the kids off at, at school and then you have to help me pick them up, okay? Or, you know, I, I cook on weekdays, you have to chip in and help me cook on the weekends. And I also feel in some way there's some, there's an energy here about, um, people pooling their resources together. It could be at work, it could be a relationship partner. And then one person is sort of like um, reckless when it comes to spending, spending things, spending money very frivolously. So I, I, I do see like uh, issues when it comes to money, when it comes to finances, when it comes to the give and take, when it comes to, hey, we agreed on this. Why are you um, breaking the terms of the contract? those discussions i feel like are coming to a head or are being discussed you know sometimes in january okay and the important thing here with the high priestess what i feel is um i i feel like you the so keep in mind i feel like everybody that's around you their communication style is very straightforward okay uh don't read between the lines there's nothing to read between the lines what they say is what they mean okay so for example for example okay if your supervisor tells you um So, for example, let's say your supervisor tells you, I need that report done by Friday. If you're not able to get it done by Friday, you have to let me know. And then your supervisor goes off to uh, his or her room and you're sitting there like, are they saying that because they, they don't trust that I'm going to be able to get it done? Are they, um, you know, thinking less of me? Don't do that. Don't do that. OK, don't imagine things that are not said, that are not real, that are not true. OK. And the reason why I bring that up is um, there there might be situations where there's defensiveness when it comes to communication, misunderstandings as well. Um, possibly, you know, like getting frustrated or angry or somebody getting frustrated and angry on a job and they just drop the whole burden. It's, it's almost like, oh, um, so I'm sensing that energy. And um, what you see is what you get. Okay, what you see is what you get. The people that you're dealing with, they're straightforward, honest, you know, truthful people. And I feel like, you know, situations might happen where somebody makes a, um, a, a comment that's like not even explicit and you might read too much into it. Okay, so just uh, be careful, be mindful of that energy. So relationships do look really good. I feel like uh, there's a compromise, there's a coming together, and especially there's communication. There's communication. There's going to be some, you know, um, good, solid revelation about how you, uh, somebody feels about you, what they want from you, what they expect from you, and as well, what they have planned for the two of you. And I feel that's also in the work sector. All right. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys and uh, I wish you the very best. Okay. I'll be back in February. Take care.